What's up everybody, my name is Timo and today we're going to talk about how to rank your video on the first page. So I actually did this multiple times but over the last couple of days, I think it was like five or six, I was drilling into YouTube like as much as I could. Like I said, I wanna focus, like my intent is to become a YouTuber. It is my intent to become a good, YouTube in. so I decided hey I'm gonna put in time if I'm going to do this I'm going to do this right so I think I spent maybe 20 hours and I went to like three or four different courses like I went to affiliate outrage I went to social media marketing agency 2.0 so the first one is by Steven Larson the second one is by Ty Lopez um, then I went to knowledge society also by Ty Lopez and then I went to Traffic Secrets by Russell Brownson and now I'm looking at um, 10x um, event recordings and by the way I was supposed to come to that one that was like a couple of days ago in Miami but my visa expired so I had to cancel my tickets so I was super bummed about it by the way I bought the ticket before I even knew when or where it was so that's why <laughs> I had to cancel so I had this like trusty red notebook of mine and I read so many notes in here just YouTube content and how to create content and how to get ranked and all the amazing stuff so I want to share with you you know like I did rank and I just checked my video um, I think it was my last one about the win score it's the fifth ranked video on Google so if you search what is a win score question mark enter you go to the video the fifth one will be mine and guess what I checked the first ranked video it has shitty tags so that means over the couple of weeks maybe months I'm gonna become the number one most likely for that search tag and that means my other search, my other tags on the video is gonna get more authority, so I'm probably gonna start ranking on those as well. Just gonna snowball. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, is how to rank your videos. So I done that with more than one of my videos, and now I can tell you how to successfully do it every single time, and then you can, uh, you know, use that snowball effect and get as many of your videos ranked and get your authority up high get your subscribers number and viewers number up high and then your other videos even though they may not be as optimized as these ones starting from today will be they'll still start ranking just because you have that authority so how did I do it so number one you record as uh, good as videos you can so what I did is I switched from my front camera to my back camera so I can go from uh, 720 to 180 and now I'm actually recording 4k and if you think your audio is not good enough then you can get that microphone like when I record from my PC audio sucks so uh, I'm actually gonna buy one hopefully tomorrow if not tomorrow then this month for sure so upgrade your video upgrade your audio quality uh, if you can just like turn on the flashlight on your phone and maybe a light on the side I have one here and one up here and then one's over there and then I have flashlight as well and it just makes you look natural and if the sun's outside and I would flip and I would use sun because it makes me look good in the video it's not dark you know and also talk louder and faster than you think you should because in the video you're not actually talking loud or fast and now we're gonna talk about how to do it. so you record a video uh, before you do that uh, do a little bit of keyword research like till last week I hated doing keyword research because I thought I have to find this like zero competition tens of thousand searches per month and like tweaking the phrases and stuff like that. it was just a horrible thing and you don't have to do that so I did a little bit of 
uh, keyword research before starting this video and I just googled like hey how to rank your video and then I went down and then you uh, Google gives you like recommended and I also have this like add-on on my Google Home it's called uh, keywords everywhere so it gives me uh, how many uh, searches it has per month so those searches they have zero per month believe it or not there are a lot of good keyword like good phrases good keywords that you think would be like amazing that has zero searches per month of course the add-on is not perfect but it's as close as you can get so I did a little bit of research and I realized because I have 50 subscribers I can't go for keywords that have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands uh, searches per month it's just not possible but if you rank for those who have 10 or 20 searches per month so um, one of mine um, has 10 searches per month it's not that big of a deal but I'm on a first page so that means I'm getting constant views every single day and since it's a phrase not just a word it means those people are highly targeted people who are interested in stuff I have to say that means they're gonna watch and hopefully subscribe so now that like this keyword I'm gonna use is how to rank your um, video on first page of Google or something like that I haven't 100% decide but it's most likely going to be um, how to rank a video on first page of YouTube not actually Google on YouTube because uh, it has more searches per month than the other one I was deciding which one I want to but uh, I'm most likely gonna use that one or some other one like I said I still haven't decided but at least I did a research like I have a couple of ones I can um, like choose from to be my main and then I'll put all of the rest in between and then uh, after you record a video you rename the video to have the same file name as your main keyword then you create a thumbnail and then your thumbnail has to have the same name as your main keyword and then once you publish the video on YouTube that video name should be again the same as your main keyword then in your description you also have to have keyword your main keyword the phrase your main keyword in the description why because um, either Google or YouTube it's the same search even though they say they keep it separate uh, that's how they verify if your content is what you say it is and also uh, in the first couple of sentence of the video I say the keywords why because it's transcribed so you also have it inside of the video how to rank your video on YouTube or on Google or whichever I decide I want to use and then what you can also do is manually transcribe your video and then upload it that's like an extra credit for you if you want to do that and what I recommend is if you have haven't ever posted on YouTube uh, look for keywords that have 10 20 and 30 searches per month I know it's not a lot but you're not gonna be able to rank for videos that have more than that if you have posted a couple you have a couple of subscriber regular viewers then you can go up to 200 and then you can go more and more and more later and later so what's important is for you to get as many views as you can in first 24 hours even though I personally believe that the first hour is more import, most important of all hours um, why because I looked at my statistic like my dashboard and I saw a couple of my videos were actually ranking on the first page and then like an hour or two later they drop in rank and I was like nobody posted a video why did I my why did my video drop in rank and 
a couple hours later, and a couple hours later, and two days later, I wasn't even on the first page. I was like, that's odd. Like, I was between third and fifth when I published my video. Why did I went to the second or third page? And the reason is because I didn't get enough views, uh, well, more importantly, watch time in the time period YouTube requires you to do so. So new videos, of course, uh, get bonus points because they are new, they're more relevant. But watch time is still what YouTube cares about because average person spends 23 minutes on YouTube per sitting or how you're gonna call it and they uh, view nine pages. So it's not necessarily nine videos. You know, when you go to the homepage, it's one. When you search, let's say my name, Timo, that's two. When you click on my video, that's three. You know, so nine pages and 23 minutes per sitting. Let's call it like that. So they want to increase that from 23 to 33 to 100, whatever it is, they want to increase it. So how do you increase it? Well, you post good content that has long watch time that helps YouTube increase that 23 minutes average time and then you get rewarded. If you think I'm just saying stuff like that, like it's, no, it literally says on, Google, on YouTube that I look at my analytics and then if you click the tab, there's like YouTube recommended your videos to other people and it says, the conversion rate, you know, impressions who watched it and watch time and stuff like that. And if you click a little question mark it says, if your watch time gets bigger, we will promote your video to more people. They are literally telling you, get good at keeping people engaged, watch your video, and then they will reward you by promoting your video to other people. So what I decided I want to do is I'm actually gonna uh, try this little thingy and then I'll change it soon, but this is what I want to do right now. So if you're watching this on F Facebook, then post in comments live or replay so I can know whether you watched it live or replay. If you watching this on YouTube, then post either the day you watch it on or how many views this video had. Like scroll up, it's probably gonna say 10, 15, 20, 30, I don't know what. And then you comment below that number and then I'll actually go back and I'll follow along. And if you're listening to the podcast, then I don't know, like and subscribe and re leave a review. Maybe you have a crazy idea of what we can do for a podcast of this. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I have a podcast which is uh, audio experience of my Facebook and YouTube videos. Because some people are just too busy to sit all day, you know, sitting is the new smoking. So they just want to exercise and listen or walk and listen, or maybe they're in a bus or in train. So that's why I have the audio version as well. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me recap because it's a lot of information, right? So what you do is do a keyword research, search for keywords who have less than 200 uh, searches per month. Only put relevant keywords in your video tag. Like don't put Logan Paul or Ty Lopez or something like that because first of all, you're just losing a valuable spot for a keyword and also you may get penalized for trying to game the system. Um, record as good as a video as you can, uh, either with your hardware and with yourself, your presentation, then your video file name, your thumbnail and keyword and video name on YouTube has to have the same. So those are your main keyword. And then you can add in tags some other keywords. For example, um, I can put how to rank your video, you know, leaving out on YouTube. Why? Because this one 
has more searches per month and more competition. So I have to first get the views, the watch time, the authority from this longer keyword that doesn't get that many views, I mean searches per month and doesn't have that big of a competition so I can rank easily and then I'll overcome the other ones and then after you get big enough, you can just put in video and you will run for that one. Since you're watching this video, you're probably not that big, I'm sorry. If you are that big, comment below how many subscribers you have and I'll follow you back. And um, after you do that, then share it with your friends, with your family, everybody you knew because like I said, the first hour is the most important, but if you can't do it in those first 24, then in those in the first hour, then in the first 24 hours. So that's why I ask you, hey, click that notification bell so you can get a notification when I post because it's good for me and it's also good for you because then like I'm doing this for you and for myself. If you're watching it, it just makes me uh, wanna put in more effort. So what's coming next, I'm actually gonna get a flip chart right over here. Then I'm gonna take a marker, not this one, but one of those. Then I'm gonna write on the flip chart, like I'm gonna um, write, like write, draw, maybe like take notes on it. Why? Well, uh, it shows that people are more engaged and they stay longer on video that has drawings, flip charts, notes and stuff like that because it's easier to keep track of everything to pay attention. And like we said earlier, YouTube care about watch time more than views. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.